there's always time to say thank you. Time and how it works is a mystery. Yes, I know that great physicists have worked out theories and mathematical equations about time. But no matter what we say about time, we still haven't figured out how to make more of it. I will never get yesterday back. I can't make tomorrow come any sooner. But what has always comforted me is believing that God, who created the night and the day, who made the earth and the universe and light years and time warps and whatever else is out there, God is the God of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Whatever happened yesterday, he can use for good tomorrow. Whatever is going to happen tomorrow, he can prepare us for today. That is why I love this little piece that someone sent me not long ago about prayer and what it means to pray right now for what we can only imagine will come to us in time. Dear God, I want to thank you for what you have already done. I am not going to wait until I see results or receive rewards. I am thanking you right now. I'm not going to wait until I feel better or things look better. I'm thanking you right now. I'm not going to wait until people say they are sorry or until they stop talking about me. I am thanking you right now. I'm not going to wait until the pain in my body disappears. I am thanking you right now. I'm not going to wait until my financial situation improves. I'm not going to wait until the children are asleep and the house is quiet. I'm not going to wait until I get promoted at work or until I get the job. I'm not going to wait until I understand every experience in my life that has caused me pain or grief. I'm not going to wait until the journey gets easier or the challenges are removed. I am thanking you right now. I am thanking you because I am alive. I am thanking you because I made it through the day's difficulties. I am thanking you because I have walked around the obstacles with your help. I am thanking you because I have the ability and the opportunity to do more and to do better. And I am thanking you because, Father in heaven, you haven't given up on me. Well, if God holds all time in his hands then maybe it's just our humanness that makes it necessary to imagine time in a straight line, which is why we don't usually think of thanking God today for something that hasn't happened yet. But if God is already there in the tomorrow, then he already knows the outcome of our prayers. And so in some miraculous, mysterious way, his will has already been done in heaven, as it will be done on earth. It's a complicated, certainly flawed concept, but hey, We'll never go wrong thanking God for everything, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. See you soon.